covering approximately 28,568 square kilometers in total surface area, the Great Slave Lake is the second largest lake in Canada, the fifth largest lake in North America, and the tenth largest lake in the world by total surface area. Located in north-central Canada, in the Northwest Territories, the lake is approximately 500 kilometers long and its width ranges from 50 to 225 kilometers. Its water volume fluctuates between 1,070 cubic kilometers to 1,580 cubic kilometers. With a maximum depth of 614 meters, Great Slave Lake is the deepest lake in North America. The Great Slave Lake is believed to be formed at the end of the Wisconsin glaciation, approximately 10 to 11,000 years ago and was a part of the larger ancient lake called as the Lake McConnell, which existed in what is now Canada, from 11,000 to 8,300 years ago, the lake covered parts of what are now the Great Bear Lake, Great Slave Lake and Lake Athabasca. The Great Slave Lake is partially frozen during an average of eight months of the year. Although several rivers drain into the Great Slave Lake, the Slave and the Hay Rivers are the main water bodies flowing into the lake. Only the Mackenzie River flows out from the lake, which eventually drains into the Arctic Ocean. The lake is named for the Slavey North American Indians, a First Nations indigenous tribe, part of the Dean Group, indigenous to the Great Slave Lake region. Originally the land was only inhabited by these indigenous people, but fur traders established trading posts in the 19th century and then gold was discovered in the early 20th century. The surrounding area around the Great Slave Lake is sparsely populated. Many small communities are situated on the shores of the lake. The biggest and the only major city situated on the shores of Great Slave Lake is Yellowknife, the capital city of the Northwest Territories of Canada, it has a population of roughly 20,000 inhabitants. Other major towns includes Fort Resolution, Hay River Town, Ndilo, and Deda.